much like the South African team tonight, we're not naive. We know that that was a, a B team that was out tonight, yet a B team who played, I thought played some really good rugby at times, great athletes. Um, but uh, we, got, we got beaten up at the breakdown, we got beaten up in uh, quite a few areas of the game, uh, yet we showed a lot of courage. And we've got guys who have, who've been playing in the fourth and fifth division in France, and to see that, to see them exposed in front of an, uh, an incredible crowd, an incredible atmosphere. Um, I couldn't be more proud of this team tonight and what they've done. And given where we were, because this is pretty much a, a pre-season tour for us, physically we're not in the greatest shape that we could be to play this game. And because the guys in the, in the uh, Northern Hemisphere are about to kick off their season, sort of August, September. But, um, a lot of lessons and we will learn and we will get better. Um, but I was just so proud of the way that we tried to play rugby. I thought the first 10 minutes, we showed our ability to get the ball to width, to move it around. And when we do that, you guys have all seen Portugal play rugby at the World Cup. That was a real pleasure. And, um, you know, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna reflect a lot on the positives because this is game number two for me. This is, and I've, I said to players, this trip was about discovery, about us learning about each other, seeing what we could do. And gee, tonight we're up against the, uh, the world champions. And, and what a privilege to be here. So um, all in all, incredible experience. Uh, and I've just got to say, you know, hats off to the uh, South African staff and their team for the way that they've uh, looked after us post game. Um, that, that adds to the experience, and thank goodness that still exists in rugby. Ken? Simon, yeah, I was going to ask, I mean, that whatever the result, at least you had those first 10 minutes where, frankly, you were the, the better team on the field, that, you know, that you and the team can always remember those 10 minutes. I appreciate that, and I, and I hope the players will remember that, because, you know, this, this was a historical event for, for us, and as well for South Africa, and as the 15th ranked team in the world coming to the number one ranked team in the world for 10 minutes our guys showed we want to play we're going to try and get the ball to space here's what we can do and we had the try ruled out and the score would have come back to 22 14 with about 15 minutes to go to half time and even then there were never any, any illusions in the coaching box that uh, we're going to do something special but we could have stayed in the game a little bit longer, but um, you know, physically, just so tough, so tough for our men tonight. And but uh, they hung in, they hung in strong. Um, but we, we're going to get better, and, and that's the the promise that we have for for everybody back in uh, Portugal that we will get better, and we'll work harder, and we'll come back stronger. Percy, sorry, I was going to ask you. We spoke to some of your fans before the match. And they said if you guys can just score one try, they would be so excited. You guys gave South Africa a good account of yourself. How do you feel as the captain of the side? Of course, we, we feel really proud um, on what we achieved in some spaced moments. Of course, I think we had the first minutes were really good for us. We scored, we were the first to score. All of a, all of a sudden, it's, it's really special for us as, as Portugal team to be winning against South Africa. It's, pretty, it's a pretty special moment. Uh, of course, we were not favourites, we, but still, we are. We, we talk amongst the team, and we said this is the this is our big test. Our focus is on 2027, on the World Cup in Australia. Is this is the the launch point uh, where we have to to go from? We we know that as a test, this is the the standard that we set, and then we know the things that we're doing right, the things that we're doing wrong, and where do we have to work on from this? But facing double time world world champs is just a really special moment for us and we have to keep on working. So, can you just say something, something about your attack? At some, at some stages you guys made us sit up straight and you know, how you guys were attacking South Africa, especially the backline? Well I think that's, a lot of that's down to our captain. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's, that's been a lot of great work being done uh, previously by the previous coaching group and we'll look back, uh, this is my second game with the team and I'm not going to take any credit for what, uh, what these guys can do. Certainly, um, we can play. 
we really can play and we exposed South Africa on the set piece when they were at 15, which wasn't for a long time. Uh, but uh, we exposed them on the outside and I was just so delighted. And I, I think rugby, rugby watchers worldwide would be so happy to see that as well, that Portugal are continuing on in the vein that made them one of the most popular teams at the World Cup. Uh, yet that page is finished. We've got to start again. We've got to get better. And, you know, Thomas has spoken about us looking at uh, World Cup 2027. I'll bring it right back and say we've got to look at qualification. We've got to look at the work of a Tier 2 nation. And we've got to get better. And, you know, we saw, you guys probably all saw Georgia, how, how, how strong they were this morning against Australia. Um, but we're going to take a lot out of this. And, I, you know, I've already said it just before, but I promise you, we're going to come back a lot stronger. And we've learned so much from this trip about ourselves. Brendan? Uh, Sam, there's a lot of talk about a test uh, championship, test league in Portugal, with obviously fall outside the top 10 nations that have been talked about in this. How, how difficult is that for you guys to hear this news and for the future of uh, not just Portugal, but all the tier two nations that obviously are striving to become better than Alta? I, I, I don't think it, to, to look at it, you know, negatively. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a huge gulf. We know that. I've got, yeah, as I said, I've got guys, you know, I had one player tonight who's playing in the fifth division in France. Now, fifth division in France equals probably teams numbered between, if I just do my sums really quickly, probably about 80 to 100 clubs in France, and he's playing in there, and here he is tonight running out in Bloemfontein as a starter, against South Africa. So that's the reality of our rugby. Our rugby is, we're not full-time pros. We don't, have, uh, we don't have that luxury. But what we do have is we have an incredible spirit. And we have guys who train exceedingly hard. And I'll throw it back to the old, old days, uh, you know, when I played rugby, um, pre-professionalism. It's just that. And I have got guys who are amateurs, who are students, who are professionals, and yet they're still finding the time to put the work in to compete out there tonight. And I think probably my captain's probably one of the best examples in the team of that. And that's what we're going to do. That is our reality. And we're just going to keep showing up and we're going to fight. And we're going to... I, I can't speak this as a, as a Portuguese national, obviously, with an accent like mine. But... But... I have learned so much about this group and I can tell you what, it's after so many years coaching and playing in Europe and things like that, incredible group, it really is. And just, you know, I, I just ask you to keep an eye on them for the future. They're going to be, they'll keep doing some amazing stuff and you guys will go, well, you know, for a team that's, uh, for, a, for a federation that's uh, semi, semi-pro and not even, um, incredible people and... As a coach, I couldn't ask any more. The back there. Simon, under the Eastern's early red card, did that affect your game plan in any way? And um, still on that note, do you feel that Portugal would have um, capitalised on that new record? Um, <laughs> yeah, South Africa are, are a really strong team across the board. And you know, my thoughts are just with uh, Jose mm -hmm. Lima, who's still in hospital tonight. Um, these are unfortunate things in rugby, head-on-head uh, -head clashes, and we know, and I, I really felt for the player who got the red card, it was an unfortunate incident for everybody involved. Uh, our thoughts are, though, uh, you know, firmly with uh, Jose tonight, um, and he's, you know, we, we, have, we haven't had an update recently, but um, fingers crossed that everything's in prayers are with him, that everything's going to be okay. Um, as to the impact on the game, no, I, I don't think, I don't want to, there's no point in me diving into the, the ifs and whats. Um, there's a lot of stuff that could have happened, didn't happen, whatever else. I, I just maintain my position. So proud of the team tonight. And, you know, it was a pretty hostile environment and they did so well. Okay, do you, Coach, what does a game like this do for someone like Jose Bifato Santos, who when he came on, looks the part of a test match player in every game? <clears throat> He looked, the past, part, he looked the part of a test match player last week as well. Uh, Jose's a great kid. Uh, I'm getting to know him. Uh, he started last week in Namibia. Tonight he was on the bench, came on, took his opportunity. And 
I, I thought he was going to go, go in for a hat trick, and I thought, how many players have scored a hat trick against South Africa in their career? And I was so hoping that he would do that, you know, go into a record book somewhere. But I, I thought there are a lot of guys who, you know, carried themselves extremely well, and it's easy to point to the back line with that, yeah, you know, because there's a lot of talent in there. Uh, I thought they were great. I'm, I'm just delighted with everybody, and I, I think maybe uh, Thomas could give you a little bit more insight into that than me, possibly. No, I think we, of course, Jose made a, an incredible game, but we have to, we have to, to have a look at our forwards. I think we first started in the scrum, and we we really one of our biggest. Um, we we were a bit afraid of our of how our our scrum is going to be against the Springboks, again the best team in the world, and with such a massive and strong scrum. Uh, but we did really well, and we are really proud of the. Of course, the Portuguese DNA is around the backs and about uh, playing with speed, but tonight we are really proud uh, of our forwards. Is it two more, Johan, and then Percy, and then we're going to wrap? Thanks. Team that New Zealand's never scored 21 points here against the Springboks. I think they'll match. <laughs> How many times have New Zealand played here? <laughs> I, 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 remember, I remember as a kid watching the game here, I think on the 1976 tour against Free State as a four-year-old. It was the first time I'd seen a brown field. It was green tonight. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, final question, Percy. Thanks. So, so, Steve, I just wanted to ask you, what do you say to your passionate fans who came up, came up in the numbers yesterday to come and support you guys today? Uh, I think it was from, from the first moment. The, the moment we arrived in Bloemfontein, the moment we, we, we got into the airport, it was an insane moment for us. I, I, I'm, I'm just getting back to, to on... Uh, on Sunday, we arrived at the at the airport. Everyone started to sing the national anthem, and this was that was so special for us. And coming here in a 42,000 uh, 42, seat stadium and seeing so many Portuguese fans, such a big Portuguese community, makes us really proud and and sometimes makes us a bit disappointed not to perform in front of so so many Portuguese fans. We are we are really proud and heads up to to them. They were fantastic tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone. Zina's going to bring in a couple of yeah. players. Thank